I had a subscriber ask what was my favorite type of plunger for a toilet. And what you're looking for in a toilet plunger is something with a flange. You want something that's going to seep down into the hole at the bottom of the bowl and allow you to really get some good force. And there's two tricks that you want to know about if you're dealing with a clog. So if you think it's a toothbrush or a comb, you really want to push the plunger in gently and then you want to pull it back, pull it out very quickly. And what this does is create a pulling motion and we want to draw out uh, an object. So you're looking to push gently and then quickly remove it and try to suck it back out. If you're talking about uh, too much toilet paper or too much waste in here and it's just a clog that we want to push through, then we want to just use a heavy downstroke and a, and a rhythmic uh, pushing and that's going to slowly push the waste and everything through that S-trap in the bottom of the bowl and push it into the main drain. So this is the type of plunger you're looking for, just a real good rubber. It's going to help seal real nice on the bottom. And the other style that's popular, and it, and it comes in two or three different styles, is this master plunger. And it has, again, a very nice beveled bottom. And they have a couple styles. If you have a 1.6 gallon or less toilet, they have skinnier models that will actually seat down into the bottom of the bowl very well. And this one is very unique because air pressure kind of compresses. What we want to do is we really want to fill this bellows area with water and then do our plunging motion. So the technique with a plunger like this is you're going to gently push it into the bowl and let all the air escape and then just gently allow it to come up and it sucks up the water and then you're going to start your plunging and that allows the water to really vigorously push itself down into that S-trap and push free whatever's clogging it. And a plunger like this, uh, I talked to the company that makes this, and they say you'll get about seven times the force of just a regular rubber plunger. So those are my choices for a toilet and a couple of tips.